everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool. On today we have something pretty special, and this is a new product that Harbor Freight's put out, at least relatively new compared to some of their old tools. This is the seven and a quarter inch cordless Hercules brushless keyword brushless circular saw. Now this claims that it has 45% more runtime because of the brushless nature of the motor. Now you got to run this with a 5.0 battery or greater. Now I was really interested in this because the really cool thing about it is is that it's going into the brushless world. Now we all know that whenever you go brushless things just get a lot better. You have less friction, the tool lasts longer, you have more power, all that great stuff. It sounds too good to be true but well it is actually true and I wanted to give this a shot and so what we're going to do today is well we're just going to give it a shot. Um, we're going to cut through maple then we're going to cut through some pine, we're going to do some cross cuts, and then we're going to do some rip cuts as well. So we'll be doing it with a Diablo 24 tooth framing blade, that's what I use in all my circular saws, and they work out really good. But before we actually start that, let's take a look at the specifications on it. The max RPM is 5,000, the max depth, uh, depth cut at 90 degrees is 2.5 inches, max depth, depth of cut for 45 degrees is inch and 7 eighths. And it's a seven and a quarter inch. The bevel capacity, it can turn to a 50 degree, so that's past 45 degrees. Um, it has a 5 8 inch arbor, and that's just the hole that's in the blade itself. And the tool is 7.4 pounds, and it's a right-sided blade. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in, and let's just start cutting with this thing. Okay, so I am going to use a saw guide here. This does come with a saw guide anchor right there, so where the nut, uh, they are sorry the bolt that comes with it um, now the reason why I'm using maple and then I'm going to use uh, pine is because this is a lot harder wood and we're just going to see how the load changes as it goes into here and as uh, you saw before I'm using a 5 amp hour battery let's go ahead and get started Alright, let's do a cross cut real quick. You know what? Let's try it one more time. That just cut way too easy. Okay, so I don't say this often about tools, but this was actually very surprising. I pushed it hard through both pieces of the wood, and when you cut with a rip cut, you're going with the grain. That's the hardest cut that you can actually do. Cross cuts are easier. Um, and this just, I mean, it was like a hot knife through butter. I can't believe how easy it actually cut through that wood. Um, and let's see, I know we didn't do that much work with it, but I mean, we still have full battery. And not that that's surprising, uh, we didn't do that much cut, but I would say with this, this did a great job. One thing I failed to mention is that it does have a rafter hook, which is awesome. Um, the base plate, or the fence down at the bottom, it is actually a forged bottom, so it's not a pressed plate. Um, and it works out really well. You know, it, it moves back and forth really well. You know, there's no issues. Um, and it actually has inlaid, as you can see here, this may be hard to see, um, this is inlaid stainless steel here and here, so it is interchangeable. So if you do damage it, I mean, essentially you can replace it. So I think Harbor Freight is really trying to make a statement with this tool. Now I know that the, uh, as you see in the past, if you do watch some of my videos, I did a review on the reciprocating saw, and that did fairly well. But I'll say this for this, they're making a statement with this. I think this is going to hold with a lot of the top brands out there. Uh, so stay tuned because I actually plan on putting this against all the other top brands or at least um, house brands in, uh, in my opinion. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Please subscribe as well. It does help the channel. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. And if you have any questions about any of the mounts here for any of the tools, Hey, hit that link below because 
Well, I'll sell those too. Take care, everybody.